Welcome to Germany. Okay, I know you're probably thinking, we just came here to eat some great pretzels, pretzels. drive really fast on the Autobahn, and have some tasty beer. <laughs> well, yeah, we did all of those things. But we also came here to visit Mercedes-Benz. Ever since their first vehicle in 1886, Mercedes-Benz has been a leader in innovation and technology. They're not just a high-end automotive manufacturer. Mercedes-Benz has become a state-of-the-art technology company. And GitHub is supporting them on their way forward. So you probably think of a Mercedes-Benz as powerful, luxurious, and comfortable. But you probably don't think about how much technology is in every car. The average having millions of lines of code. And not just the cars are high-tech, but the company itself is going through a digital transformation. As Mercedes-Benz shifts from creating cars that are purely mechanical to building software-enabled vehicles that are basically a data center on wheels, IT has become a driver of innovation. And GitHub has been a key partner, bringing the latest technologies to the fingertips of their developers. Well, everyone knows GitHub. Yeah, so the biggest platform out there, and that is for us a huge advantage because we do not have to explain GitHub itself. We can concentrate on the stuff that we do with that. We, as a central team overseeing the open source and inner source activities, we can address those people in the language that the developers speak already, which is a tremendous advantage over what we had before. Every car out there has a piece of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, how better can it get? Okay, I think it's time you met our friend Wolfgang. Hi. My name is Wolfgang Gehring, and I'm a FOSS ambassador at Mercedes-Benz Tech Innovation. FOSS is free and open source software. Innovation nowadays happens to a large degree in the FOSS domain. And if you want to be part of that, you should be part of open source. Well, so we have created the Mercedes-Benz FOSS Manifesto, which is a set of core rules and guidelines that help our engineers on their open source mission. We don't only allow them to do open source, we actually actively ask them to become members of the open source community. You know, use, but also contribute and also publish our own open source projects. And it makes sense to be on GitHub because that's just how the open source world works. You know, collaborate together on one nice platform. And what's one key component of the platform? AI coding, powered by Copilot. GitHub equips our developers with cutting edge tools like GitHub Copilot, an AI empowered coding assistant that I'm a huge fan of. We decided to adopt AI tooling at Mercedes-Benz because we were searching for solutions for our developers to stay more into flow and resolve their tasks faster. When Copilot went into the market, we were really excited to implement it at our enterprise. The value that Copilot is bringing to us is that the users using Copilot perceive a productivity gain of 30 minutes per day. Our developers with Copilot are focusing more on innovation than on boilerplate code. The integration of Mercedes-Benz with GitHub represents a commitment to excellence and innovation redefining our role in both the automotive and the technology sectors. AI isn't the only radical thing helping build Mercedes' future. These guys build and run the Robot Lab. Yes, robots! So what we do here in our department is we build up advanced robotic solutions. GitHub is for us a platform which integrates every need we have around code, around configuration, about doing our job, building the systems. So we have one platform that integrates easily and that reduces time and gives us the transparency we need. What we automated with GitHub Action is how we build the code. We do the software engineering, we test it, we simulate it, and we can distribute it via GitHub. Wow, thank you Mercedes-Benz for showing us around from a champion of the open source community to a leader in automotive technology and sustainability. Mercedes-Benz is truly a modern day technology company. Okay, but there's one last thing we feel we need to do while here in Germany. 
learn some German. And we thought there was one guy who could really help us out with that. Okay, so one of the most famous long German words would be, check this out, Donau Dampfschifffahrtsgesellschaftskapitäns Anwärter. Mütze, you could even add. Okay. Donau yeah. Dogs. Wait, what does this mean? Oh, so that's a guy who's going to be an apprentice on board of one of the steamboat ships of the Danube Steamboat Shipping Company. And then the last edition was his hat, you know. Okay, so like an everyday kind of word then. Well, I'll go work on it. See you next time.